In this video, we'll illustrate how to create a channel, device, and tag within Kept Server EX using the Kept Server EX Configuration API. For an introduction to the function and purpose of the Kept Server EX Configuration API, please view the video titled Configuration API on the Kepware YouTube channel. So as you can see, I have Kept Server EX installed on my local machine here. But now I want to start interacting with the Configuration API. So to do that, to get started, I will right click on the administration icon here and go into Kept Server EX settings. And in order to interact with the Configuration API, I first have to enable it. So enable is set to yes. And in this case, I do want to use HTTP and all the other settings I can leave as default. So the first thing that I can do is to click on this link that says view in browser. And this is going to show me documentation. Most importantly to start, it's going to, if I click on the, the documentation link here, it's going to show me all the endpoints that I can interact with. And it'll show me not only the, the endpoints, but the actions or the commands that I can send to them to get results. So here I can get information. As we said, the get command is to uh, return information. And at this endpoint, I can get information about the project. But probably more interesting, I can get information about the channels. And as you see here, I can also post to this endpoint to post uh, to create a new channel. And so that's what we'll do. But first, let's get information back about the, the channel. So I can actually just copy this endpoint. And as I said before, we're going to use the HTTP client postman, which I have installed here on my local machine for simplicity. And I will paste that endpoint into postman. I also need to get down to the, the exact endpoint that I want. So if I want information on channels, I will paste this endpoint here. Uh, importantly, I need to set up authorization for this request. And to interact with the configuration API, I need basic authorization. I want to interact with the configuration as an administrator, and I have not set up a password. So with that, I have the authorization that I need. I'm making a GET request, and I want information on my channels. So if I send that, I can see that I have all of the channels that I would expect in my, in my SIM demo project. So now I want to create a channel. As I said, that requires a post to create a new object versus a put, which is to edit an existing object. And I also need to supply some information to the configuration API to set up a channel. So in order to do that, I'll switch back over to the documentation and I'll click into the supported drivers page. And I want to create a, a channel that is using the simulation driver. So here I'll go down to the simulator and I'll take a look at the, some of the properties that I'll need to include to create that channel. And so first I need to include a name for this channel. So in order to do that, I will copy this over into Postman and I'm going to edit the body of the request. And to do that, I need to add a JSON payload to this request. I do that by choosing JSON here and I'll put in that property of common all types name. And then I can name the channel whatever I want. In this case, I will call it demo. The next thing that I need to include, I don't need to include a description, I can leave that blank. But the next thing I do need to include is what type of driver I want to use for this channel. So I will copy this over, paste there. And as you can see in the documentation, if I switch back here, I want to use the string simulator, bring that back and paste it here. And these are the only two properties uh, or parameters I need to supply to the channel 
or to this endpoint to in order to create a channel. Everything else can essentially be left at, at default. And that's going to vary depending on the driver that you're using. But for the simulator driver, I only need to provide a name and the type of driver that I want to create. So I'm doing a post to the channel's endpoint. I'm giving the channel a channel name and a driver type. And if I send that, I get a 201 created. And I can check to make sure that that channel was created in a couple of different ways. Uh, because I'm on the same machine, I can actually just go back to the configuration and see that a demo channel was created. But if I'm remote and I don't have that ability, I can also do a get on the channels again to see whether or not the channel was created. And as you can see here, I do have this new channel called demo. And here are all the different properties that I could change when I'm making the channel. So if I wanted to change any of these now that I've got the channel created, I could go back, I could do a put and just copy and paste any of these items into the body of that put request. So now I want to create a device underneath that channel. So if I go back to the endpoints, then I can see how that works. So if I want to create a device, then I need to create it underneath a channel, obviously. And the endpoint is just going to be that same endpoint that I had earlier with channels and the name of the channel that I want to create a device underneath and then devices. So I'll go back to Postman and here put in my channel name again. And that's just demo, as we know and then also put in devices. Now, I could do a get on this, but since I just created that channel, I know that there's not gonna be any devices underneath it. So I'll just do another post. Now I need to supply some parameters. If I go back to my documentation, under the supported driver section, and down under the simulator driver, I have a list of device properties, but the only ones that I need to include for creating a device for the simulator driver are the, again, the name of the device, as well as what type of driver I'm using. Everything else you can certainly include. And in most cases, for many other drivers, including the Modbus driver, you would need to include a device ID. But in the case of the simulator driver, this is all that I need to include. So if I go back over to Postman, I'm going to give this the name of demo device, and it's still a simulator driver. Again, I'm posting to the device's endpoint. And if I send that, then I get a 201 created. Let's use the configuration API to see whether or not it was actually created. Again, I'm doing a git to get information on the devices underneath the demo channel. And I hit send and I can see that my device demo device is created. Again, I have a, a list of properties that I can now edit if I need to. And so lastly, I'm going to go ahead and create a couple tags. Let's go back to the documentation. Tags is a little bit of the way down the page, but if I see here, this is the endpoint where I can get information on or create new tags. And again, it's, it's channels and then the channel name, devices and then the device name and then tags. So I'll just bring that over to Postman again. So my device name is demo device. I already have the channels and the, the channel name in there and then tags. And for tags, I again need to create a name for the tag that I'm creating. But instead of telling the configuration API what the driver type is, I need to tell it the address of the tag. And this is the property uh, for doing that. And so for the simulator driver, you can find more information on the addressing scheme of that driver in the help files. But I know if I need to create a ramp tag, then I can just create the address R1. 
And instead of calling it a device, I'm going to call it demo tag one. If I do a post with this payload to this endpoint, then I'm going to get a 201 created. I'll just do another one. I'll do a constant tag, which is just K1. And I'll create demo, demo tag two. And then if I do a get on the tag endpoint, it comes back and shows me that I've created two tags. And just to confirm that everything worked, I'll go back to my configuration, show that I've got a, a demo channel, demo device with demo tags one and two. And if I open up the quick client, then I can see I've created this new demo channel with a demo device, which has tag one and tag two, and I'm connected and getting data. To learn more about KEP Server EX Configuration API or other KEP Server EX features, please visit our website, kepware.com.